In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. As you can uh, see here, I have added this metal paper clip, which is hanging with the help of a thread. Then I've added kind of a label here with the two different color combination. You can add the option number, the title and the detail text. And below you can add some icon to it. And I have added some a shadow effect at the back at the background and when i click with a different color combination it comes the second option the third option and the fourth option so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much height and width, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, make it white. Let me just increase the width a little bit. Then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing control D and then reduce the height. All right. And then shape fill, you can give any color of your choice. And then I'm going to put it exactly on top of this. Then go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle, something like this. And here you can see the small orange point, just drag this outside. All right, then shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to cut this uh, from the two places from the bottom, go to insert shapes, select the right triangle, draw the right triangle give some different color so you know exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to put it something like this which is somewhat outside let me just show you you can see here it's for somewhat outside then press ctrl d to duplicate and rotate it the other side something like this and make sure that the gap between this one it's same all right so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these shapes. Let me just adjust it properly. Yeah. So now I'm going to select this, all these three shapes, go to more shapes and say fragment and delete this unwanted parts. So we end up getting a shape, something like this, you can see. And then right mouse click, go to the format shape. And from the fill, I'm going to select the gradient fill. And here I'm going to use some different color combination. So first of all, select the first top and I'm going to give a black. All right. And at the bottom also, I'm going to give the black. And here I'm going to give a somewhat lighter color, light gray. And here also I'm going to give a somewhat color like this. So it looks something like this. You can put it down. All right. So this looks like a clip. So I'm going to reduce the size all right let me just reduce the size and i'm going to put it here let me just reduce the size further and put it like this in the center all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the go to insert the clipper so go to insert shapes i'm going to select one oval shape all right and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid like this all right let me just put it smaller why i'm doing this one let me just show you then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the freeform shape so i'm going to start from here here then i'm going to click in the center of this the oval shape then i'm going to click it one here and then double click here so we end up getting a shape let me just give some different color you can understand okay let me just increase the width and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to right mouse click i'm going to edit points and this particular point i'm going to put it like this you can see here and this one also let me just move this here and move this here all right align it properly 
okay so we end up getting a shape like this i'm going to put this one here again if you want we can just edit the points and then maybe this is somewhat more curve okay let it let correct this one i think this is perfect so now for this also you can give a gradient line all right and then you can give uh, some different color combination some black and then i'm going to give some kind of a white for the shining all right again i can give i don't want this one i can give some again some different color so and then you can just change the direction how you want all right you can see here it looks something like this all right so now both of this i'm going to group this press ctrl g to group it so we end up getting a shape like this so let me just delete this part i don't need and then i'm going to select all this and bring it down and then go to insert shapes select the freeform shape again from the lines and the freeform shape from here till here double click and give this color as black all right and you can increase the width all right so you can see here and then i'm going to give some shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate and make <coughs> sorry and make it more transparent all right and then this one i'm going to rotate a little bit increase the width and i'm going to put it like this and then send this to back so you can see here my shape looks something like this all right again if you want you can just move it somewhat inside okay and then you can add some shadow effects again you can select this one press ctrl d to duplicate you can fill this one with a uh, black color increase the transparency effect go to the effects soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just rotate a little bit and i'm going to put it like this here sorry i have to just rotate the other way around and send this to back all right if you want you can increase the width also so it looks something like this then go to insert text box you can type option number one zero one center align make it bold increase the size put it in the center go to insert again text box you can add one title title here this one make it again center align make it bold and bottom you can add some detailed text add detail text here and this one you can reduce the size center align and you can give some gray color and if you're using some latest version of powerpoint you can go to insert icons you can choose uh, any icon of your choice depending on the requirement so i'm just going to choose this icon so let's wait yeah i'm going to choose this one click insert and put it here and this color also i'm going to give the same color matching with the header so once this is done press ctrl a to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it and then move it here so this is the first option hold the control control shift key the second option the third option and the fourth option so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options now it just select this one go to the shape format and you can give any color of your choice you can see here so maybe i'm going to give this one and this will be two this is three and this is four and then you can add some basic animation effect to it